there, everyone. This is Leah from the Ray Center and Tyler from the Waterville Valley Recreation Department. And we are tucked in the woods to talk about a creature that may glow in the dark, may be chittering, may be doing all sorts of things. And what are we seeing today? Uh, well, today um, we're actually going to be talking about um, Dre. Not okay. like Dr. Dre. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, squirrels, they glow in the dark, who knows, maybe they also like Dr. Dre. But Dre, uh, Dre's are what, um, how squirrels' nests are referred to. Um, and so Dre's are in, you know, in the fall, maybe sometimes you look up and you see in the, in the crotch of a tree a collection of leaves and sticks, and uh, those are nests that have been created by squirrels. Uh, those nests are pretty fascinating because uh, they are woven of sticks and leaves and sometimes the squirrels will be gnawing on uh, little twigs while the trees still have leaves on them and weaving that all together and they can be as many as 26 layers of leaves thick so mm -hmm. that giant nest may have a space in the middle that's just big enough for a squirrel and right now it's fairly mild uh, you know a beautiful winter day uh, you can hear some birds are twittering um, there's some action going on in town um, and you know pretty comfortable dressed like this tomorrow is predicted to be quite a bit colder um, low temperatures with the wind chill negative 32 degrees Fahrenheit um, that's quite cold and so if you are a squirrel, what do you do? Well, it turns out that inside that nest, um, the temperature can be 20 to 30 degrees warmer than the outside air. That's pretty good. If we were talking Fahrenheit, 20 to 30 degrees Celsius warmer than the outside air. That's like 60 to 85 degrees warmer. So when it's negative 30 out, uh, you know, it's it's like a balmy, nice 50 degrees in that squirrel dray. Isn't that incredible? Um, but also, so tomorrow, most likely the squirrels are going to be hanging out in their in their drays. But uh, on days like today, they might be out and about. And actually, you can see some evidence of squirrel activity here. You see, um, there's these like little collections of the, the um, pine cone bracts and uh, spruce bracts and also these little areas where there, there have been scratches dug up. It's getting harder to do that now that the snow is firming up but uh, a couple days ago they would have been digging up those caches that we talked about before where they were chunking their food in different areas and so you can see evidence of their eating uh, around the base of this tree here and over here another little collection and then back this way as well and this is quite common that there will be collections all together um, and actually right here you can see some tracks um, so these are their uh, I think Eric talked about this before where their forepaws are back here and their rear legs come out in front as they hop along um, but they will sometimes build multiple drays uh, in an area um, so that you know, if there's um, danger from some sort of predator, they can go to another, uh, but also just to give them easier access to different food sources. Um, so, as you are getting warmed up tomorrow, however you are, um, <laughs> probably like eating some really good food and hunkering down, some blankets, uh, the squirrels, most likely they're gonna, you know, they're gonna be okay. Uh, they've, they've done this before and, um, those those homes are incredibly warm thank goodness <laughs> <laughs> thanks